Hey there, and welcome back to the Shadow of the Earth Tree. We are going to work our way up the Jagged Peak today, and hopefully it's going to culminate with us battling the Dragon Bale, right? Uh, a couple things to touch on before we go into it, because I have played a little bit without recording. And uh, there's a couple things in one of the last recordings that I, I couldn't remember and I didn't actually touch on, and I don't think I came back around to do. So we're going to touch on those now. Uh, the first is you can commune with this thing. It's got a commune with Bale. I don't want to touch it right now because, I mean, I already did, but I'd rather wait until we have stuff done with him to like really look at it. But you can do Ritual of Dragon Communion. You can get a Ghost Flame Breath. And it says, the land of spirit graves is a home to all manner of dead, and even the corpses of fallen dragons found their way there. Several of them were endowed with such vivacity that even in death, they could not fully die. Yeah, uh, land of spirit graves, right? So, like, it's kind of interesting because there is a tower that we are able to get up. Uh, I kind of forget where exactly, but it's one of those spiral towers. And when you get up to the top, it talks about how um, all the, like, all the dead, like, wash up on the shore, right? And, like, to me, it kind of seemed like... It kind of, the world, it made me think of the whirlpool thing with Dark Souls 2 and just like everything just ending up here. And so I guess it kind of makes sense that eventually, you know, you would find some dead Drake guy over in here, right? Uh, I did because like I knew in order for me to get there, I had to travel along this path. So I'd already walked along this way. And I mean, I'll tell you, man, the approach is pretty cool. There's also this whole thing in the center, which like, I mean, just from the picture on the map, like, those look a bit like fingers, like kind of teeth-like, but maw, like a maw almost, like maw, fingery, crazy looking, right? And uh, I'll get us up to a better angle so you can take a look, because, I mean, it is, like, look. Like, those could totally just be dragon things of some sort, but, like, I mean, like, look at it. I mean, they're fingers. Like, it's fingers, you know? I really want to get down there to, like, look at it like to really look and see but look how it's got like the little whorls on it like fingerprints almost some of them have snapped off there's those like round things right there are those like i could almost imagine those are like eggs but to me they're also kind of like eyes and see how it's got bits of gold worked into it as well but the other thing is too like it's not like oh they're like randomly just sticking out and jutting random places no they're all curled in towards a center right there right and see how they all work around a perimeter right there is an epicenter to the whole thing and it's just crazy looking and i mean even look right there you can see it there's a path like we can totally get down there and i'm really looking forward to getting there and those things too are also so cool because they're supposed to be like mysterious coffins like that like who mis unknown coffins of unknown origin giant right giant coffins which to me says giants but why are they unknown origin and unknown period because i mean giants aren't unknown but then you also have some like super old ancient dynasties and what's on those coffins he's got those bull heads and in the ancient dynasty runes there's like iconography of bulls so maybe there's some tie-in between those two things you know they're dead eventually washed up here because they're so old you know they got lost and caught in the seas like uh, who knows dude uh but we're gonna run past a bunch of these things because they suck and there's those giant goats man like they're just straight up giant man i mean look how the like environment just kind of like shifts like it shifts even harder as we like move it up there right it's already kind of red smoky like volcanic like here's some of that red fulgur bloom it's like basically fulgur bloom but from like an ancient dragon there's also these sections right here too right like uh, sinks, uh, freaking yeah, cool, or uh, torrent. Those are actual like columny looking things or tablets in a way. But yeah, the environment is really gonna shift as we work our way up here a little bit more. I want to get get you that like viewpoint instead of just starting up there. You know that transition. Uh, but again, it's still you know, it's, AC still hasn't been fixed yet, so there's gonna be weird bird noises and stuff in the background, and I'm sorry for that. But I mean. I'm really hot it gets it's like well up in 90 degrees in this room at times and it doesn't help that i have like 
a literal heat box right next to me, you know, just pumping out heat. Look at all that red lightning and stuff. The wind blowing really gets the vibe of, you know, kind of a storm veil kind of thing or limb grave. It's all the wind. And look, how you got a, uh, a spearing jump to take us up. Over here is some skeleton dudes. There was some kind of item there, but nothing super crazy, right? So let's go ahead and jump on up and whoosh. It's such a big one. It's like in Mount Gelmir, dude. It is a lot like Mount Gelmir, right? And then ready? Here we get up to the bridge. Now look at that lightning. Look at it shift. The whole thing just feels super dangerous and destructive. It's like volcanic lightning almost, you know? Because I'm pretty sure I've read something about that. How it's like basically volcanic lightning. Now, speaking of lightning, I, I was really struggling to remember where I read about uh, betrayal and the ancient dragons. So right here... The ancient dragons who betrayed their lord to side with a tyrant were known for wielding branching red lightning. So it's in the red lightning pot. So the branching red lightning makes me think of Landsax and Fortisax. But I don't know that it's necessarily them. It could be something else. And I guess they sided with Bale, maybe? Because this one is described as a tyrant, right? And look how they're... They're duking it out with each other. That one there is the threat. That one, not so much. We're going to try and fight him. I don't know how well it's going to go. It's a Jagged Peak Drake. We're going to summon Trisha to you because why not? I've also got a Dragon Communion Spear. I don't want to use all of them right now, but I would like to try. I could, like, just run past him, right? I wonder what the range is on this thing. Okay, that was a good chunk of damage. No, 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 come. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, he flew. Back away, back away. Oh my god, dude. That dude does some monstrous damage. Maybe I am just gonna run by. My scattered tree blessing right now, I think is five. I'll have to double check real quick. Six. I'm at six. My ash blessing is five. So I think I'm just going to run past that thing because, dude, I can't. <laughs> That's so much damage. I could probably sit there and try and battle the thing out. But with the other Drake there, too, it's going to be such a miserable experience. But why are they fighting, right? They're both Drakes. Like, they should both be chill with each other. Like, if anything, there should be an ancient dragon, right? Dragon's Calor Bloom. Oh, that's different. Flower with an uncanny shape coursing with hot blood. A single flower is said to blossom only once from the hearts of dead warriors who oft partook of the dragon communion. Oh, so they bloom. So like, you know, I guess technically if our character died, right, we would probably, you know, we would um, have one of those flowers bloom from our heart on the ground or something. Another one. All right. So all these dragon communion knights are just falling all along the path. Kind of a fun narrative, right? Of like all these warriors, like you could essentially trace their steps of like where they tried to make it to defeat Bale, but just kept falling. The cool thing about this whole thing that is like kind of, it kind of explains a few things, right? So it explains the banished knights and like why they're in the uh, crumbling Faramazula. Because I was always kind of curious, right? It was like, why are they here? I mean, you see them in Stormvale. They do a lot of... St what was that? Is that a boulder? Did somebody drop a freaking rock towards me? You know, but you see them in Stormvale. They're doing Storm Ash Wars. It, it all tracks there, right? But even the ones who just do it, like, only Storm different Ash Wars, they have a dragon emblem or, like, statuette thing on their helmet. They even have horn things protruding from shoulder pauldrons. Uh, that's probably kind of a double thing. I don't need to say. Oh, a fragment. Oh, that's good. You know, and then you've got the red-hooded ones, or red-robed, cloaked, whatever... And they actually do use dragon communion spells. Like, you see them cast fire. That's an ancient dragon. Right? And then you see them in 
the uh, Cathedral of Dragon Communion in Caled, and then you find them in uh, Crumbling Pharaoh Missoula. And it's like, okay, so they have some big tie-ins with dragons. Are they just hunting them or whatever? And, like, the answer is yes, right? But specifically, a number of them were serving Plasutisacs, which is why you see them in Crumbling Pharaoh Missoula is because they, you know, serve him. So that's, like, where they would be. Uh, man, this is probably going to be a really ugly fight, isn't it? Not looking forward to it. Ancient dragons are really obnoxious to fight. Oh. Cinesax. Oh, so this is one of those branching red lightning ones. Okay. Oh, of course. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, I live? Oh. <laughs> that just suddenly, like, branched out to get me is what it feels like. So when we fight uh, Lansax... We see gold on the underside of her wings. Yep, same thing here. Uh, Fortisax has it, like, all on his, like, rib cage, which is kind of cool looking. Uh-oh, that's a problem. I tried to roll it, and I was too slow. Oh, my lord. This is going to be bad, isn't it? Yeah, that Ash of War. This dragon katana is, like, super good for this. Because, like, I can't imagine always having to hit their heads with just, like, melee attacks. It would be so miserable. God dang it. Oh my god, the shockwave, dude. Because, of course, why wouldn't he be fighting in a puddle of water? Alright, well, <laughs> we're ignoring him for a second. I kind of forgot I had already had another Scatatru blessing, so now I was able to upgrade it so now i've got uh plus seven on my blessings oh he's looking at me oh he's looking at that one so we're gonna try and beat this one that drake is doing quite a bit of damage i wonder if i were to just like ignore them for a while if you know they would like get as much damage as possible you know what i mean hey whoa that what what a jerk Alright, well, one of the drakes is gone. Now I've just got this one left. Oh, I didn't get any runes for that? Oh, that kind of sucks. Dropped an item, though? I want it. What is it? Oh, broken rune. What? Yes, thank you. Uh, honestly... Oh. <laughs> what a sight. A warrior true, if ever one there was. A fellow Drake warrior. Oh, who is that, I wonder? Uh, honestly, that fight was not bad. Once I got used to his, like, actually figured his moveset, like, I mean, it's the same as when I fought one earlier. Like, the moveset wasn't really different. He just did a lot of damage, so I had to be very careful. He did the three combo with the wings, right, whenever he did the big roar, and then he would fly over you to your backside and, like, try and flank you with a fire breath. So then you just ride your horse over there real quick. And then hopefully jump off of it, even though my guy did not want to get off the freaking horse. And then I hit him in the head a couple times. Uh, I do need to get my flasks back, so I'm going to go back and do that. Uh, oh, there he is. He's right up ahead. We're going to go talk to Egon then, actually. Yeah, because like, he's like miserable muling about his arm, and like, which I mean, I get it, but also like... Wait, is that his leg? Is that his... No, is that a plant? 
Oh, it's just a scrap of cloth. I thought maybe he really did have a little bone leg now. Drink warrior. Dear friend, grant me this one wish. Take this finger, my finger. Scale the jagged peak. Face bail the dread. And when you do, summon me. Summon my soul. My limbs are limbs no more. My heart is twice over filled with fear. But a Drake warrior, I remain. And my soul yet lies on the mountain. All right. Egon's curled finger. Furled finger of Egon, the broken Drake warrior. Look how just like grayed the flesh is. Little bits of blood and stuff. Looks pretty ragged. There's cloth tied, I guess, around it. Uh, gnarled and knotty, a deeply discolored <laughs> and deeply discolored on the inside. All right. When facing Bail the Dread, summon this summons Drake Warrior Egon from his sign. My soul yet lies in the mountain. Okay, yeah. Okay, man. Uh, we'll, we'll we'll do it. There is still the matter of that ancient dragon, which is just awful. Okay. Ancient dragon smithing stone. Somber ancient dragon. Okay. Holy cow. Alright. That was absolutely horrendous. This thing took me... I don't know how long. I don't know how long that actual fight took me. It took me a very long time. I need to go take like an actual break. I gotta... I've been doing this for like two hours now. I was supposed to be doing stuff around the house by now. <laughs> Uh, so I'm going to take a small break because that was ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. I did not like that fight one little bit. Ancient dragons suck in general. That one did not feel amazing. Uh, I am very tempted to essentially do like its own uh, some small little video that's basically like, yeah, uh, here's, here's how I beat the guy. You know, here's some like ideas, right? Like this is what you need to look for something like that if you want to see that well let me know because god that was awful oh man i can't actually talk to him at all anymore i'm like sort of sort of tempted to hit him and see if he goes down or not but uh we're not gonna do that to the poor guy oh oh what is that wait what okay right so i i went back to the grease to like level up you know spend some of those runes so i don't like lose them lose them these things weren't around before it's like red lightning sludge are they like where did they come from like what what <laughs> it's crazy and i don't know if it they have red lightning because they somehow came off of uh that ancient dragon or if it's because of the material around them. This is a pretty big opening. Oh. Bunch of dead drakes, huh? Okay. Oh, material. Yeah, I, I need the, the sharp gravel stones, actually, because I don't have very many of them, and I need that to make the uh, harpoons. Oh, that's some crazy lightning effects going on. Oh, we're getting close, dude. Oh, yeah. There's a side of grace. I figured there probably would be one, but I didn't want to chance it. This place is crazy. Is this like a... Right, because like... I fear Missoula and everything. You know, they're at like the heart of the storm or something along those lines. Especially like when you start getting towards... Uh, Placidusax, Jagged Peak Mountainside. And so I wonder, is this like a, um, kind of like a counterpoint to it, right? You're up at the peak among the storm with lightning flowing, but it's not just the, like, pure red lightning that, like, you see with Placidusax and stuff. Like, a lot of those are red, but 
it's got kind of an orangey tint to a lot of the one like flying around. Egon's cookbook too. Oh, whoa. Okay, so I gotta navigate those. A record of crafting techniques. Ba, 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 ba. Dragon communion flesh. So dragons, calor bloom, sharp gravel stone, lump of flesh, rot of fruit, boost. Oh wait. Oh, did I find some of those before? I can't remember. Boost, vigor, stamina, strength, dexterity at the cost of gradual HP loss. An imitation of dragon scale flesh created by human hands used to sate the hunger of drake warriors, if only briefly. Man, it's like it catches... It's like fire lightning. Like it hits the ground and like catches it on fire. Right? Which is pretty sick there's so many dead drakes it's almost like i mean i guess it could have been communion warriors like defeating them and killing them but at the same time i wonder is it like bale is he like just slaughtering his own kind as well like he just because it describes him as a tyrant as well i mean the fact that there's so many sharpened uh, gravel stone things on these guys does make me sort of think that a bunch of knights like wiped them out right okay this is feeling kind of like it's it oh yeah all right is okay okay jagged peak summit yeah it's like a big old caldera. Here we go. Look at the light. You know what that looks like? It looks like the edges in like Faramazula. Like you would see the beastmen like kind of uh, skeletal corpses and stuff like settled in. Like, that's what it looks like to me. Almost like a large amphitheater kind of thing. Lots of bones on the ground and stuff, too. Whoa. Bail the Dread. Okay. Oh! Look at that short little nubby head, dude. Oh, his wings like super mangled and stuff too. Oh, he's missing a whole stump of his leg. Well, that dude is, he's messed up. Maybe from when Egon came in to try and kill him. But wait, okay, so notice, so what did Egon complain about? That his leg and arm were severely mangled and injured and what's messed up on Bale, right? Same thing. All right, so where's Egon's sign, right? Cause he said to summon him, is he up here somewhere? Or is he in the arena? There he is. Ah, hey, hey, dude. Okay, yeah, it was like a lightning fire, dude. Whoa. <laughs> oh, he's got like other skull bones and stuff on his back. This dude is kind of crazy looking. He's a cool one. What's interesting too, right? A similar kind of parallel to uh, from him to uh, Plesudisax, right? Because Plesudisax is the lord of the ancient dragons, right? But he's not the most massive one. He's not huge, ginormous. I mean, he's like big, right? He's a dragon. Same thing with this guy. But there's other specimens who are clearly much larger, right? Grand Sax. He was towering, right? He was, you know, shading over a quarter of the capital of Landell. You know, Grail is huge. That dragon body we saw down there for that, like, communion deal is giant. But then you've got, you know, Plesutisax and this dude, and they are, um, nowhere near those sizes. Oh, I tried to roll that. Okay. That's quite the introduction, dude. Why didn't I... 
Oh, he's making some big lightning stake on his wing. That's kind of crazy looking. Oh. Oh, it's his bone jutting from his freaking wing. With every last drop of my being. Uh oh. No! Oh, that's death. Oh, I'm alive. No way. I'm out of flask, so that's kind of a big problem. So the bow is like shooting harpoons, huh? Dude, why can't I hit this dude? Oh my god. I really feel like I should be able to use Torrent here. Which is not the case, right? Oh, god dang it. I thought he was going to do a lightning breath thing. Alright, I can do better. Like, this guy feels like a boss. Like, a reasonable dude I could, like, learn to move set on, take my shots when I can, and, like, just feel like a good fight. Where that stupid ancient dragon was just obnoxious and annoying uh. oh uh oh oh whoa Okay, yeah, I guess I kind of thought it might have been a little too easy, even though I've been getting absolutely smoked. The music is awesome, though. Four wings like an ancient dragon, right? I uh, did... Oh, Jesus. <laughs> That's pretty cool. It, they are such fun parallels with him and and Placidus X because like I mean they're both grievously wounded and if he betrayed and then attacked him you know maybe he got injured like that I mean he could have been from Egon it could have been from Placidus X you know I don't know God. No! <laughs> uh, how can you even be mad at a move like that? Oh, wait. Okay. How can you... <laughs> that was cool as shit, dude. You can't be mad at that. Get away, get away. Oh, no. I'm alive. Wow. Okay. Here we go. Uh oh. Hey, I'm alive. That's cool. Uh oh. Oh, I dodged it. I need to watch out for the lightning strike. Uh oh. I'm alive. What are you doing, breath? Okay, coming in. Oh, he's gonna do a big sweep, right? So, roll into. Oh, God. Okay, he was targeting Egon. Uh. <gasps> no, get away from that. Come on. Oh, I got the stagger. Yes! I've been wondering where that stagger was at, dude. Come on. Let's do this. Two flasks left. One. Two. Now. Roll. Come on. Come on. Yes. Whoa. You shall haunt me 
No longer! What a cool fight, dude. That was awesome. That was an awesome fight. Super fucking cool. That was a crap ton of runes, too. Let's read it. Oh, look at the size of that thing. Look at it. Like, here's your regular one, right? And then there's that thing. The biatrial... Biatrial? No, no, yeah, it is biatrial. Duh. The biatrial heart of Bale the Dread. Dotted with horn-like gravel stones and glistening with deep red liquor. Gorge upon this at the grand altar of dragon communion to absorb Bale's power. The purest form of communion in the words of its priestess. We're gonna go there. We'll see. I still need to go down there, dude. Like, that's... That's some cool-looking stuff down there. Oh, it's an item. Wait, is that the priestess, or is that from Egon? Priestess heart. Flowerstone gavel. W what happened to her? Oh. The stone heart of a dragon communion priestess. Use while disrobed to turn in turn one's human flesh into an ancient dragon. The change cannot be undone except by death. Using this heart while already transformed temporarily boosts incantations of the capital's ancient dragon cult. The priestess was once an ancient dragon herself, but sacrificed that form for feeble flesh to aid in the destruction of Bale the Dread. So, like, that's kind of what, like, Fortisax... Or not Fortisax. That's kind of what, like, uh, Landsax did, right? Because she took a human form in order to help the capital uh, dragon cult. But... So she sacrificed it to aid the distraction. So, like, Landsax, she came back as an ancient dragon. She redawned the form. I don't know how she did it, though, you know? And there's the hammer, a single heaven, flower dragon bolt. It scales with arcane. All right. Strengths dex. All right, mostly strengths versus dex. Weapon of the dragon communion priestess, a dragonstone hammer resembling an ancient flower. The four petals and the flower's core are all sharp ending in points and are capable of dealing heavy damage to dragons could have used that earlier uh, flower dragon bolt it calls down the red lightning of ancient dragons to strike a target deals lightning damage and also temporarily reduces the target's lightning damage negation can be charged to increase its power it only does physical damage though huh oh i can't attack because that place is okay let's move a little bit away yeah, okay. Hammer moveset, right? Two-handed. Yeah, it's it's a hammer moveset. Oh, interesting. That's cool. I dig that. I will probably give that a go. I gotta upgrade it, though. Unfortunately, I'm getting really low on the somber smithing stones. Because a lot of... Like, I haven't been getting a bunch. Like, you get a lot of the standard ones from enemies around here. But not so much the somber ones. Alright, let's look at the Dragon Communion Bowl now. Because, like, you can get some stuff for that heart, right? So, the Ritual Dragon Communion still don't have anything new. But here's a Communion with Bale. Now, here's the thing about him, right? Uh, one of the greatest... Well, this is called Bale's Tyranny. Channels a Dread Dragon to roar with a Heat Wave Blast. It takes 49... Oh, it takes no faith, though. So, just 49 Arcane. Oh, they both only take arcane. I could totally use those then. Uh, so one of the greatest dragon communion incantations harnesses the power, fearsome power of Bale the Dread. Channels the form of the Dread Dragon to emit a mighty roar accompanied by a heat wave burst, causing violent eruptions of fire in the area. Even after being consumed, the throbbing heart of Bale continues to resist its subjugation, never weakening. One day, the fire within will consume the very body and soul of its communion devourer. One day. Yeah, so I, to me, it's basically saying, like, we'll eat it, but eventually, you know, we're going to transform, like, all the other, like, old communion warriors who turned into the magma worms. This is basically saying Bale is still going to remain Bale, even though we're devoured, and then consume us and become himself again. Now, you know what that kind of reminds me of is the serpent 
and Mount Gelmir, right? Because it devoured Rikard, right? And then they kind of like fused together and then it made it seem like they would just like come back again, right? They were being devoured by Tanith after you defeat them, right? And I think if you left it, like eventually it would just like kind of reconsume her and then just like be reborn again. So the Bale's Flame Lightning channels the form of the Dread Dragon in right arm to smash foes with an exposed talon bone coursing with flame lightning. Yeah, super cool, dude. I can only pick one though cuz I don't have I don't have enough otherwise. I kind of want the flame lightning one. I think that one sounds really cool, but the roar is I I the roar I'm going to be able to use more uh or sooner. And hits an AoE. I don't know, man. Let's do the roar. All right, so Egon though, right? So is his body still there? We need to go and check on him, right? Hmm, it's just a body now. Looks like we can get some stuff from him. I hope it's that bow. I think that'd be pretty cool, right? Egon's great bow, his helm, armor, gauntlets, loincloths, his bell bearing. Oh, he had a bell bearing. Let's learn a little bit about our guy. I was talking a lot of smack for him, but like when he was actually like in control and of like truly of himself, he was super like, I don't know, uh, fierce. Helm of the broken Drake warrior Egon from a set of armor comprised of miscellany of parts. The tattered protective wear is shaped like a bugle. <laughs> the poor scavenger of battlefields found honor through dragon communion. Yeah, it does kind of have that scavenger look to it, doesn't it? All right, his armor. I think I'm interested in his armor. His armor just from the, like, the picture reminded me of uh, Yura's. Right? Doesn't it? Armor of a broken Drake warrior Egon from a set comprised of miscellaneous part. Filthy belongings are attached to this tattered piece of protective wear. The poor scavenger of battlefields found honor among the dragon communion. How does the armor compared 8.0 to my... I mean, I really like the Horned Warrior look one, but I kind of dig that too in a way. Oh man, it really is. It, we are. It makes him look like a... We really look like a hobo. <laughs> this is like literally uh, no more than a mishmash of tatters and remnants stripped from a corpse found in the aftermath of a battle. Gotta get rid of that glove. That's one thing that's annoying with that glove. Yeah, it's just chain gloves, man. And this a leather one in the other hand. Why the heck did he wear a loincloth, man? The scrap of cloth smells utterly foul. Yeah, man. Yeah, why why wouldn't you find something other than that, man? The hat actually reminds me of uh, some of, some of the Yarnamites from Bloodborne. Oh, you can alter his helmet too. All right, we're gonna alter his helmet. Can we alter his? Yeah, we can. It'll take off. Maybe the whole backpack and, like, stuff. Oh, yeah. Now it's more just, like, straight breastplate looking. Oh, but it put the gloves around his waist. Were they... They weren't already there before, were they? What's the helmet look like, though? It's actually... It's m more like a helmet like that, right? Because it's got, like, little pits of armor attached to the top of it now. <laughs> I kind of like it, man. Really gives our guy this like ragtag look. <laughs> I almost completely forgot. Egon's Great Bow. Weapon of Egon the Broken Drake Warrior. A great bow fashioned from two dragon bones bound with coarse rope, covered in gashes left by claws. It is imbued with Egon's obsession, enhancing the power of Egon's harpoon. Egon's Drake Hunt. Skill of Egon, Drake Warrior, ready to Ready the bow before unleashing a twisted shot with a great bellow that considerably enhances its power. It takes 23 strengths, which, I mean, once we, uh, like, two-hand it, you know, we'll be fine. Uh, we'll move out of the dragon communion area again. And his harpoon things are going to be the arrows, right, that we got the bell bearing for. So we should be able to buy them at the, uh, you know, merchant. Oh, yeah, I guess I don't have great arrows ready. I mean, yeah, great arrow... Yeah, he was very yelly, wasn't he? Look at his thing. It's like, oh, uh, it's like gashed. So like, I feel like the bell bearings are representative of different characters' souls, right? So when you see the sorcerers, they've been infused with uh, glintstone. When you see like Rajir's, his has like faint traces of like blood, maybe wisps of death root kind of things, right? So they're all indicative of like who they came from. His, because he had the dragon communion, he's got that red like a dragon heart, but it's been rent and gashed because of his conflict with Bale. Because the attack, you know, it 
crippled him and filled him with fear and stuff, which had an effect on his fairy being. And then that's going to allow us to buy Egon's harpoon. Grid arrow that bristles with sharp gravel stone pieces has anti-dragon effect. The broken drake warrior Egon made these one by one in the midst of his agony so that Bale the Dread himself would know fear. Oh, so he built them while he was like crawling along. All right, man. I mean, again, as much crap as I gave him, you know, he like, he did crawl his way up the peak, you know. So I feel a little bad for dogging on him for so much. Yeah. All right. That's where we're going to call it, though. Very cool. Very cool. Awesome boss. Awesome boss. The soundtrack was super cool. His movesets and everything were super cool. And what I liked about him, right? And I don't, you know, there's nothing wrong with the DLC being hard, right? I, I think it's okay for it to be difficult. That's like part of the thing about like Dark Souls games, right? They're, they're tough. That's what they do. And, um, you know, so I don't necessarily mind when the bosses are difficult, right? But like I kind of mentioned it earlier, like this guy compared to fighting that stupid ancient dragon along in here, wherever, right there maybe, uh, it was just so different. Like that ancient dragon was so much worse than Bale was. Bale was tough. He took me some like learning, but at the end of the day, it was like a moveset that like made sense to me. It was okay, you know, like it just, it felt like a good boss. That ancient dragon did not feel like a boss. It just felt like an annoying obstacle put in my way. Maybe you weren't supposed to fight it, but at the same time, I'm like, you know, you defeat the Drake there, you get access to another thing. Like, I mean, it just made sense to defeat him. You know what I mean? I don't know. Ah, but thanks for joining me. Hope you enjoyed it. And until the next one, take care.